Oh, Those are going to be real loud into that mic right there. All right, we need to start this video because I need it to be over. <laughs> so, welcome back. We're the Bourbon Junkies. We are. Um, I'm eating runch. Today, got another collector's corner. People. Number. I don't even know. Enter here. Let's call it 11. That's nah, a random guess. That'd be all right. Put it on the screen if I'm wrong. Ah, uh, 14. That's a good one. Okay. Okay. Hi, West Day. So, Janelle helped us get this Rendezvous Rye barrel proof store pick, Distiller Select. Actually, this is a distillery oh. only release. I'm pretty sure that they're only doing Rendezvous picks at the distillery now. Okay. They're doing Double Rye and American Prairie outside of the distillery and Rendezvous Rye only at the Ooh, distillery. Okay. So, thank you, Janelle, who is also a new patron, for helping yeah. us get this bottle. Thanks for being here. This is 10 month finished in a Calvados barrel, which was an which apple really, brandy. Yeah, I was going to say, we're really big fans of the Sagamore right. Calvados finish. So, yep. Dan said, My pour was aggressive. I'm going to let you guys judge. Today's Collector's Corner. The intros ran at some point. But, Collector's Corner, we. Look through a few recommend or a few collections yeah. from the fam. Today specifically this is a Patreon patron. specific. So if you want to submit your collection, go to bourbonjunk at gmail.com is where you can send it. <sighs> send pictures, not video, please. It's much more difficult for me to manage. Yes. And I might delete it if you send a video. So collector's corner, we recommend two bottles based on the collections we're looking at. Non splurge. I haven't. Get pour them on the table so we can stop using the box. Let's do that. Oh, why are only green ones coming out? Oh, don't do it. Oh, that's... All right, and we're back. Apparently, we, the table runs that way, if you're wondering. We do... That doesn't surprise me at all. We do one non-splurge okay, bottle. This channel. Collector's Corner, we recommend two bottles. Yep. One splurge, okay. which is an expensive, hard-to-find bottle, and then one non-splurge, which is readily available, usually a cheaper bottle. Splurge and non-splurge are based purely on the collection, the cost of bottles, the rarity of Not bottles, purely. stuff like that. The one collection Not that had really. only rare bottles, we only picked rare. Even you, I think that like Blanton's for it, it the non-splurge. It will influence our decisions. I, as a professional okay. savant of whiskey. First collection of the day, Brian Casey. Brian Casey, he actually hangs out in real life. We know him in real yeah. life. He's also a patron. Thank you for being here, buddy. Thank you for the support and the love. Ah, he has he the picture. quite a lot of bottles. A lot of bottles. Now, I, I, the the Groth cask right in front. Let's talk real quick, quickly, about this man's obsession with early times bottled and bond. Buys it by the case. Oh, my gosh. He kills at least a bottle every two days, I swear I to God. I would guess that's not true. I guess I'm underselling it. Okay, There's so, so much here. Got a lot here. I'm not um, going to lie. This is a terrible picture, Brian. Brian, you sent us a picture of your table, which has... Every bottle of whiskey ever without labels showing. Yep. Now, that being said, he has so many bottles. That's just the first picture. Dude. Brian, we can also take into consideration, because we know Brian well, that he has the funkiest palate of all time. It's true. One of the only three people of 2019 that, that liked like chocolate malted yep, rye from yep, Woodford Reserve. Yeah, he loved it. I'm going to move to the next one. I haven't seen the inside of this cabinet. Oh, it's That's uh, his the infinity. Kentucky. That's his infinity bottle. Oh. I do know that. Never that mind. Infinity bottle. The, uh, the Kentucky, Kentucky Tavern. Tavern. Is that yep. what it is? Yeah. Yep. It's a beautiful infinity bottle, too. Uh -huh. It's such a good idea to use is something that the, like that. Is that the red handed Texas bourbon top left there? That's the ghost. Yeah. Ghost Hill. Listen, Brian Casey, why in the world is Templeton in the bottom of that cabinet? That was What's, is that the Atwater? What's the, the black bottle one? No, that's, that's from the, a California distillery, isn't it? Yeah, Atwater is a brewery in Detroit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so. That's the guy that made wine. And then switch to whiskey, one of the guys, and it's not, we don't, we haven't had any of it that we like. No, we had one of them and we hated it. All right. Blind. So, got a little Roses, Valentine, a little Pangry. Eighty Laws. Just everything. Brian has, honestly, Brian has a lot of everything. Non splurge for me. Go ahead. EC Toasted Barrel. Okay. 50 ish dollars. Yeah. Fantastic whiskey. Super sweet. Also, Brian has a super. Like off profile palette. Yep. Likes wild shit. A lot of people don't like it. I think he'd like it. Yeah. Okay. Your non slurge. My non slurge is Bone Snapper Rye. The. Is it just the plain old Bone Snapper? Um, my splurge is a. 
Mayor Pingree store pick because those just hit the state. They've been at a bunch of stores. They're at some, some stores. Some very niche picks we have for him right here. I know when we shot this field, there were still some at AMB Liquor. If he travels, he's got to pick one of those up. My splurge is going to be Maker's 46 cast strength. The t- basically, that's one of the 2020 limited. Yeah, it's fantastic. It, it's really, really good. Um, I know your, his profile as well. I know he'd like it. So I, mean, I don't have to deliberate too much between whiskey. looking what Bodley has and think, ah, oh, he might like that. Right. I just know you'll like it. So, Brian, thank you, buddy, for sending your <sighs> yeah. collection. And then uh, we're going to move ideas, on to the next collection. It. Brian, thanks for the support, buddy. All Like we said, this video is everybody Patreon. that's in this video is patrons. Yep. So thank you for your support, bud. Okay. So, Ooh. Dram Hound, long time listener, first long time, time caller. Call- no, not, oh. definitely not first time yeah. caller. Figured I'd add my collection into the mix for your collector's corner series. So, oh. It's a nice looking shelf. I feel like there's going to be so many pictures. Okay, we got Mashville. Uh, dose. Double Elmer. Mashville 2. A lot of Mashville 2 in this pick. And Clyde Mays for some other reason. Oh, look at all Fine the, and Lillers, look at all the a lot of antiques, yeah. High West High, right there. Yep. Oh my gosh. Buffalo oh, Trace. That is a lot of lands. Blanton's and E.H. Taylor and Buffalo Trace and Eagle Rare and Sazerac Rye and Michter's on the bottom. A lot of Micht. Micht Michter's. Jeez, oh, Pete's. Okay. See, this is the problem with you saying the first one was hard. Because now all of them are going to be like this. Yeah, you did this. this is, oh my God, there's so many seal bottles. He has everything. He literally okay. has everything. This is going to be a fun one, too. He literally... <laughs> Could be, might not be. A little tucky. Woodford, Highway West, Eagle Rare, Angel's Envy. This this must be the the bar cart. This, this is, the is ones for that sure the bar people. cart. Yeah, yeah. Tequila Blant, dude. He's got Blant on the bar cart. That's a baller move. I'm gonna be honest. Um, okay, okay. I got one. Easy. Which one? Splurge. Probably or splurge at okay. this point. So non splurge picks. Easy. After going looking. Easy. Non splurge. Now I'm creating 12 year. The blue and gold. Oh, that's, that's my your non non-splurge. splurge. $50 bottle. Fantastic bottle of whiskey. He's got 42 Blantons. That's true. I assume he can afford a Knob Creek okay. 12. Mine's so. widely less than that. Okay. But the old Forster Rye. There's a bunch that of Rye's on there. Less than that. <laughs> a bunch of Rye's on there. And you got a bunch of old Forster products, but I didn't see the Rye in there. We're going to move to splurge picks. Mm hmm. My splurge pick. Oh, I'm going to get a lot of hate for mine. Is WB Saffle. Oh, no, less less he's, hate, I he's guess. He's got a Bonnet Lillard. He's got a bunch of Russell's picks. He's got a Kentucky Spirit pick. Your turn. Okay, so Splurge. my splurgy pick. Ah, Rocket Farms. What? My splurge was going to be Blanton's Gold. That's what it was going to be. That's what my other splurge is. Ooh. All right. Dramhound, thank you, buddy, for all the support always. Well, you know, uh, Rock Hill and Bl- uh, Blanton's Gold probably much probably on the same price nowadays. Pretty much. 125 Pretty yeah. much. Thank you, Dream Helm, buddy, for sending your collection. Thank you for the support and the love on the channel. We're going to move on. Next, Collectione. Dustin. Cardwell. Caldwell, yep. Yeah. Nope, there's an R. Just right after the scars, Caldwell. There's an R. <laughs> I humbly submit my collection for your review and suggestions. The stag hasn't been opened yet, but will probably change by tomorrow. Mm. That's amazing. Okay, so there's an ER in there, he said. There's McKenna getting opened. Pictures. Zoom. Enhance. Enhance. <laughs> oh, Sam Houston, 14 hitter oh, bottles. Oh, shit. One of our favorites so far this year, honestly. Yeah. Got a little mellow corn, dude. Okay. Angel's Envy, right? This is a... God, you don't have 400 bottles, yeah. honestly. So Nice all-arounder, though. Yeah, you got a, a nice... Actually, you got some Japanese, some Finnish rye, yep. some scotch, some corn whiskey, literally... Some wheaters. Some, bur- some willet, some bourbon, everything, man. I like this collection a lot, actually. He's got Old Elk. He had Maker's Cask. He's got some Wellers. Easy. This, for Sir Dustin, Thank God. I'm, I'm going with a 1910 as a non-splurge. Oh. There was a 1920 okay. in there. Was There's also what, a bottled and bonds in there, I think? Yeah. No. Is that what it is? Yep, yeah, there is bond. bond. Genius. Savant. Anyways. Um, man, it's nice how easy that rolls off my tongue. Anyways, the 1910 is my, <laughs> my non-splurge. What's your non-splurge? Uh, Maker's 46. Okay. Um, I saw a couple of weeders on there. You got Maker's Cast Ring. Special Reserve. Your special Reserve. Larceny. Yeah. Uh, go with Maker's 46. I think Old it's Elk a, might be a weeder too. Possibly. I think it is. Um, Some of them. For splurge bottles, I'm going to say a Calumet, a 14. Oh. That's what I'm going to say. You got Sam Houston sitting there. Yeah. Get the brother. 
whether it's a baby brother or not, I think it's worth Definitely a purchase. Definitely is. Everyone's found that out. Except yeah, me. wrong. Yep. But no, you're I, wrong. I think it's worth a purchase, whether you think it's better than same use 14 or not. I went wildly cheaper than that. Um, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. You got a stag junior on there. That's true. Get the brother to that. That's true. Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. I would suggest like a B520. Fantastic modeling. You know what's funny? You liked A120 more. The Stag Jr. and the Elijah Craig Bear Proof are like rival brothers that hate each other. The Sam Houston 14 and Camel 14 are like brothers who like each other. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Because like Stag Jr. Sazerac and... I think and, they're just not oh. such hard cut lines right. for people sure. in those families. Yeah. So, Well, Sam Houston and Camel, I think, are sourced from the same place. That's oh, why. Oh, okay. It could be. And then Sazerac and Heaven Hill are like competing yeah. for like the attention. They'll so. cut each other. Yeah. Yeah. So, Dustin, thank you for sending Ooh, your collection, nice buddy. Easy I for appreciate us. that. Thank you for the support and love. Yeah. We're going to move on. Okay. So, anyways, Alex Old Forester himself. Alex, you didn't send any pictures, which are the rules, but you're a patron and we love you and you're always around. So, you're lucky. We're going to go into her. Zoom, zoom, zoom. <laughs> zoom in. <laughs> Sean needs a reading glasses. Zoom in. Oh, there we go. I appreciate all the content you put out. Really helps a new member of the community such as myself looking for some suggestions to my current collection. I have a variety of 40 $40 to $80 bottles. Wondering if it's time to pull the trigger on some more high dollar bottles. Okay. So, lives in Louis. It's take me forever. Sean is a very slow reader. Alex Ol Forster. I read so much faster than you. You don't even know what reading means. Okay, so. It's not even a fucking competition here, Chief. You know what's nice about the text? Do not send us text if you're sending collections, but. Don't say shit know, about it then. You know what I like about the text? But notes. I like the notes. Yeah. He says, Bland Singleware, not a huge fan. Eagleware, great. I like knowing this because yeah. actually it might help us pick better things for them. It's true. We see a lot of bottles, but don't know how you feel about them. It is 100% true. Yeah. I actually kind of, you know what, Alex, you, you nailed Break it. Break the mold here, You weirdly actually. nailed it in a great way. So. I do says, like, he said he liked the, the Redwood uh, Empire Lost yeah, Monarch. Yeah. Of course, because it's so damn good. Rare Breed Rye will never leave my inventory. You're wrong. It's okay at best. You just got started and you have a Blanton's Gold. That's amazing. He knows people. That's fantastic. That's in the video. Um, What else we got here? Which one do you have? Non-slurge. Okay. Um, I have a non-slurge. I'm done. I'm ready to rip. All right. So for my splurge, based on your nope, collection. Nope, non-slurge. <clears throat> my non-slurge based on your collection, which yep. is what I just thought in my brain and didn't say out loud. Yep. I'm going to go with... Um, Redwood Empire Pipe Dream. You love the Lost Monarch. Now, the Pipe Dream, I'm not saying it's going to hold up to Lost Monarch. No. It's a bourbon. It's got a little bit of youth note to it. Fantastic whiskey. If you smoke cigars, it goes so well yeah, with the cigar. I'm going to go with my old faithful on this and just say Rare Breed. I see you got the rye. I know you and said you that you it. like yeah. the uh, Elijah Creek Barrel Proof. You said amazing. You did like the rye. Um, you're going to try the, the bourbon. Yeah. It's fantastic. Dude, the... I actually prefer the bourbon to the rye, honestly. Yeah. And the bourbon's cheaper. Yeah. So I thought I, you said you liked the rye in the video. Nope. Uh, no, I, I went, no, I went back. Mm. No, I might have, but I went back. Oh, bourbon so you lied in the video. All right, Maybe. Cool. Don't ever listen to Dan. Sometimes you eat Mexican food and drink whiskey and then you feel different, you know? No. Nope. Okay. So anyways, my splurge bottle for you is going to be Midwinter Night's Dream from Highwise. It's a... Semi fine. I'm gonna call it actually relatively findable. Very much like the last splurge I said, but the brother in reverse, yeah. Stag Junior. Um, so if good, man. you like Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, you're gonna love Stag Junior. Alex, the oldest forester, as far as I'm concerned. Thank you very much that. for sending your collection. I appreciate you. your support. And thanks for being here. Thank you very much. So thanks for everyone watching this fourth collection. Oh, we're done. We're wrapping her up. We're the bourbon junkies. I thought you were gonna click on another one. Nope. Like, we're done. Nope. Thanks for watching. Love you guys very much. Yeah. Have a great day. Check out the Facebook group. Like, comment, subscribe. Check, Check out Instagram. Patreon. Just do all the things. Do oh, everything yeah. that has anything to do with everything. We love you guys. Proofs in the pour. Nailed it. One of these days we'll put that in the beginning, and people might actually go and check that shit out. We will see it. Yeah, because no one watches to the end.